nut craze. Oh, yeah, that hybrid croissant donut that had people waiting in line for hours. <laughs> well, now a South Philly bakery has created a combo of a different kind. It's a cross between a donut and a cannoli. Meet John Colossi, current owner of Frangeli's Bakery on 9th and Rittner in the heart of South Philadelphia. He was originally a construction worker, always loved baking. I grew up right across the street from there with no Frangeli's. And as a child, I remember going there and getting fresh donuts and the smell of the twist and the chocolate donuts first thing in the morning. As the owner for just the last five years, John and his staff are keeping the delectable scents wafting through the neighborhood when they make their traditional Italian pastries fresh every morning. As you can see, we pump the donuts to order. But one day, John decided to stuff his fresh donuts with something a little different. When I was making the ricotta for the ganolis, as I was putting the, the ricotta into a, a plastic container, I decided to rip the donut shell, put the ricotta on the donut, and I ate it. And I was like, wow, <laughs> this is really good here. And thus the donut slash cannoli, or as John calls it, the frenoli, was born. And it became an instant hit. Frangeli's is one of the suppliers for the famed De Bruno Brothers, and they were one of the first spots to also carry the frenoli. I sent a hip a dozen with their order, and they sold out like that. And the next thing you know, they start taking a dozen, two dozen more a day. And now the South Philly sweet treat is gaining national attention with a recent appearance on ABC's The Chew. Mm. That, that is awesome. Once you try the frangeli, you won't go back. Frangeli's is already getting orders from out of state for their frangeli. I'm telling you, it could one day be as famous as Philly's cheesesteaks and tasty cakes. And you know we do love to eat here at FYI. Oh, Philly. yes, we do. <laughs> and we love it even more when you get to eat for a good cause. We're talking about an event sponsored by...